Hey guys, it's Steve Lee. I'm back here again with a, another CSS quick tip. This one is, uh, is pretty universal across all of web design. This isn't um, Divi theme related for uh, all of my Divi followers out there. This can be used on any amount of your, your web design work. And uh, what we're talking about today is vendor prefixes and browser cross compatibility. So what I'm going to start with is introducing you to two websites. One of them here is um, is Auto Prefixer. That's hosted on uh, GitHub, so autoprefixer.github.io. I'll link below. Um, that is a, um, a website where you can parse your CSS. You just copy, uh, I'm sorry, you paste it into the left side here, and it parses it on the right side with vendor prefixes, uh, like you would see here, WebKit, Moz, MS, and uh, if you're not familiar with the with what those prefixes are, um, definitely worth checking out this other website hosted on W3 Schools, uh, which is the CSS Reference Browser Support page, and it shows um, a a fairly extensive list here of CSS properties and which browsers. Uh, I'm sorry, which version of which browser supports that property. So, um, you know, some of these new CSS properties are, are new and only work on modern browsers. And some of them, uh, you know, some go way back to Internet Explorer version 4 for, uh, I'm sure, the one computer in the world that actually has Internet Explorer version 4 on it. But <clears throat> regardless, the uh, the important thing here is that um, that it lets you know what uh, what CSS properties work on which browsers, and uh, you can you know let your let clients know if you're using something more modern that you know those modern effects are only supported on browsers past a certain point. So uh, those vendor prefixes that you can see here, um, for instance, this user select property. Um, you know, we typed it in as user select none, and over here on the right side, it parsed it out to include these vendor prefixes, WebKit, Moz, and MS. So what they are, WebKit is your vendor prefix for everything uh, Android, everything Chrome, everything iOS, and Safari. That uh, prefix encompasses all of those. The Moz prefix is just for the Firefox browser, uh, it's short for Mozilla, and MS is short for uh, for Microsoft, uh, meaning it'll work on your Internet Explorer and your Edge browsers. And uh, it really is just as easy as uh, as copying pa copying and pasting here. You can start with a blank box, um, go over to your style sheet that you use to design your website paste it in on the left side, and then you can just copy what is outputted on the right side, and it's going to save you a boatload of time. Uh, one of the things that's important to note here is that it does use a proper um, proper syntax for placing these vendor prefixes as well. Um, if you ever decide to, um, to do these yourself, um, you can save yourself a lot of headaches by doing them in the proper syntax, which is the original CSS goes last. So you can see here the user select property um, is the last one listed. And above it, you can see user select property with the vendor prefixes. Now the order above the original CSS property um, just doesn't matter. You can have, you know, Microsoft's first or Mozilla's first or uh, WebKit first, doesn't matter. Uh, what does matter is having the original CSS uh, last um, because that's going to, kind of override um, everything below. Everything uh, on the bottom of the style sheet will override everything on the top as a, uh, a general rule. So uh, that's all I've got. We're coming up on five minutes here, so I'm going to try to cut this video off. I know your guys' time is uh, is very valuable, but just wanted to show you these, uh, these tools that can save you a lot of time and make your websites a little more user-friendly across, uh, across all browsers. Uh, autoprefixer.github.io. I'll paste the link below for that and the CSS reference uh, browser support page on W3Schools. I'll post a link below for, uh, for that. If you want some more uh, CSS quick tips, check out the rest of our videos on the channel and, uh, and subscribe if you're looking forward to more. And uh, other than that, you can find us on Facebook, Divi CSS Share. Uh, on Facebook, where there's uh, web designers just like you and me sharing their CSS quick tips that they're using to design awesome sites uh, every day. 
that's all I've got, guys. Uh, have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.